Good evening and welcome to the news on BCNN. I am Peepwarp and let's get into tonight's major story. A new update for the popular Minecraft mod Cobblemon has been announced and people are on the edge of their seats to discover all the new features added. Out in the field we have our reporter Peepwarp at the newly constructed Cobblemon Museum to tell us more. Thank you Peepwarp. Now we are here You're at welcome. the- we are here at the Cobblemon Cathedral of Learning, which has been worked on for months by an incredible team of builders. Now inside this building, you will find everything that you need to know about the latest Cobblemon update. We go now to our correspondent in the skies who has a bird's eye view of this building and other structures that have also cropped up around this area. Peeporp, do you copy? Loud and clear, Peeporp. Now we are here up in the BCNN helicopter, taking in the wonderful sights of this center of learning. But not only has this area been gifted by it, other strange structures have been appearing around the world. I had to investigate this earlier from the safety of the ground. Scattered throughout the world, strange structures have started to spring up. Like new flowers in spring, these strange obelisks known as Gimigul Towers are one type of new structure being added in this new update along with other structures where new and amazing Pokemon fossils have been discovered within. Atop this tower is where one of the new additions will be found. Hiding in a chest, the ghost-type Pokemon Gimme Ghoul will be found for trainers to catch. And here in the center of the museum is where all these structures are exampled, painstakingly recreated by archaeologists there is much to discover and learn about these new fossils, displayed magnificently in these new display cases. Along with these structures, in this section of the museum behind me, several discoveries are shown off to the public for the first time, including gilded chests, ancient Pokeballs, new shirred variants, village remnants, and tumblestone. These archaeologists have been very busy so that these relics could be found and shown for this upcoming update. With guests starting to arrive, we pulled a few aside to get their opinions on the new features. Well, I came here not expecting to learn much, but have you seen how many things there are here? And how many Pokemon they're going to be adding too? They're going to be adding Centret and Furret and Quillfish and Trapinch and Vibrava and Flygon and Skarmory and Trapias. Have you seen the new battle animations? I can use Flamethrower and burn them all alive! It's pretty cool. And Tortuga, and Shieldon, and Bastiodon, and Hippopotas, and Hippopaudon. Well, I for one am very excited about the new held items. I've been waiting to put a focus sash on my Sneasel for 12 years now, and finally I will be able to do that and have the edge in battle. I burnt down a whole field of wheat one time, just to see what it would look like against the night sky. It was beautiful. And Carbink and Klefki and Turtonator and Fomantis and... Yeah, dude, I may be the heart of the party, but I'm actually really in tune with my history and my culture. I'm really looking forward to playing with the new ancient Pokeballs and seeing how they compare the new ones. It's like a whole different vibe, you know what I'm saying? You see, usually I would put the most efficient item for each Pokemon, but I think Sneasel just kind of looks good with a nice little red ribbon around it. Yeah, yeah. And Qfunt and Copperaja and Dreepy and Gimme Ghoul and Flababy and Goomy and... Yeah, I love the energy here, man. It's so serene and ancient and calming. Except for that weird guy who just stands in the corner playing with his lighter. I heard them screaming, but I didn't do anything about it. I just watched. Tyrant and Tyrantrum and Cupchoo and Beartick and... Oh, there's just so many. Thank you, Peeporp, for another stellar report. Do we know who that guy was? You know, the, the fire guy? We get, keep tabs on him? We didn't? Oh. 
That's that's pretty bad. Anyway, this has been Peeporp on location at the Cobblemon Center of Learning for BCNN. Back to the studio, Peeporp. Many thanks, reporter Peeporp. From You're the welcome. From the new Cobblemon update. Let us know in the comments what you are most excited for. And remember to like, subscribe, and click that bell to be notified about any future updates and broadcasts. But from our family here at BCNN, this has been the Late Night Morning News. I'm Peeport Porpinson, and I wish all you trainers a good night and a good fight.